everybody. All right, so what I got here is a <clears throat> window regulator. It came out of a 2005 F-150. And uh, I'm going to show you if you had, if the window, uh, this one happened to, to uh, go all the way down and it wouldn't go back up again. And so I want to show you how to get the window at least up, you know, part way or all the way. Um, because when it's all the way down, I'll show you it's pretty, I'll show you here in a different camera angle out because it's different, um, you know, or you can, you, it's really hard to get to the bolts when it's all the way, actually it's probably practically impossible to uh, get to the bolts to uh, loosen the window, you know, from the regulator when it's all the way down. So anyways, we'll uh, do that. All right, so as you can see, let's, um, let's flip this over. <clears throat> now this goes um, on the passenger side. So <clears throat> it's gonna be in here, you know, just like this. Just imagine the passenger door open. The front of the door is uh, this direction. The rear of the door is that direction. Um, you know, there's gonna be some, you know, like slots and, you know, it's kind of slot like a little bit right in this area and maybe a little bit up here, but you're gonna have metal around here because obviously here's a mounting bolt that mounts the motor part of it. And then, you know, obviously you got your other mounts and there's some other good videos um, on how to actually replace this. What we're talking about is just, so here's your uh, clamps. You know, your window rests down inside of those clamps and then that bolt right there is what you tighten to tighten the clamps down. There's one of those on both sides. The window, see the window rests, you know, all the way down inside of there. This is kind of rubber and it clamps in there. It's hard to see the bolt, but that's the point is you really just cannot get to that bolt. So anyways, when this pickup came in, like I said, the window went, went all the way down but never went back up again. I diagnosed it to uh, the regulator. And so, um, you know, there's no, no power or anything like that or, the, you know, the motor bad or whatever the heck it is. Most of the time it's the motor's gone bad. You know, there's, there's no way to get the window up and you can't get to the bolts down inside of there. So I'm going to show you what I did. All right, so on the back side of this motor, I've got three of the bolts took out, but there's four bolts. There's one that's still in there, and then there would be another one there, and then those two on the left side. So what you wanna do, and this is gonna be, you know, you're gonna have to be, re you know, this is gonna be a deal in the way right here. So you're gonna be reaching in here, um, you know, long ways. It's not near as easy, but it's nice to show it out here, but you remove all four of those bolts and you pull this cover off. That's magnetic, so it's gonna be, you know, like, see it wants to stick. So there's there's permanent magnets inside of the motor there. So now, you've got to this point right here. Now one thing you can do is you can just reach in there from this point and you can turn this. See the it's going to take you a while. But you can sit there and keep turning that. Now the bolt's getting a little bit more exposed, but if I recall, this isn't going to be big enough yet because, you know, obviously there's going to be metal here because here's another mounting deal. You know, if you cross references with another video out there that shows you how to do it. Um, there's one, one really good video where a guy wore a GoPro camera like on his head or something like that. I mean, it's like, almost like you're actually doing that's a really good video anyways, but see how that's, you know, this could, this could take you a while if you wanted. What I had to do was I didn't have the parts and they didn't have the parts available that day. I just had to get the window open or closed for the customer so that it wasn't open. And, you know, but as you can see, you can keep turning this now. When you do pull this out, um, this steel can come out, you know, but you just kind of got to get it threaded 
back in there. Sometimes, like this thing came out when I first did it. It didn't stay in there, but if you just thread it, you know, back in, there we go. Now we're back to back to business of doing it. But let me show you what I did. See the end of this right here? I managed to get, and this was in the pickup, I managed to get a drill and I was able to reach my hand inside of there and tighten the drill on there. So yeah, got the window all the way up. Seems kind of hard to do it. But so now when you're into this position, this is how you'd want to do it anyways, is, uh, is have it in the fully up position to be able to manage to get, uh, get to these bolts. And so I was able to roll the window all the way up. And then if you're gonna leave it, you're gonna want to put this thing you know, all back together. And I put that thing back on and I went ahead and put, uh, you know, just a couple of uh, screws in it just to hold the cap on there. But you need the resistance from the magnet of the motor because if you, if you leave this off, um, it will, um, uh, the, the weight of the window going over bumps will eventually push back down. But with the resistance of the motor, it can't turn and it's gonna hold it up there just like it normally does. Put a couple of screws back in it like that. I went and got, um, when I got the parts finally, then I was able to uh, just go and, and loosen these. And I didn't have to do anything else, just loosen those, got it out, got the window, taped the window up so it wouldn't fall, and then loosened everything else. And, um, you know, what loosened everything else, and then just took it out just like it is. So there's an idea, you know, if you got the window all the way down, you know, because when it's all the way down and behind this bracket, it's practically impossible to get to these, get to these bolts to loosen them up, to get the window away from the, the little clamp. So there's uh, an idea on how to do it. Thanks for watching.